I'll bet you killed Tizzle, didn't ya? Long ago, in the middle of his dark interrogation, a barbaric detective realized you can still solve a murder and have a wee laugh, too. I'd really rather not discuss this anymore. It hurts too much. It's okay, Mr. Croyd, I understand. You say you're impotent, so I believe you couldn't have killed Tizzle. But there's still one matter left to attend to. There were rumors that Tizzle may have been having an affair with another woman whom he closely collaborated with on his recent Psychics and Friends telecast. The rumors also went that this mistress was witnessed on several occasions to display violent fits of rage and jealousy because it was Tizzle that was getting all the recognition. What are you looking at me for? Mr. Frugal, you're really some piece of work that think you could fool me. Well, okay. <laughs> yes, I did help that selfish, egotistical tyrant with the psychic's telecast. But I don't know what in the hell you're implying with this affair business. I've been a detective for 27 years now, and I can spot a fake a mile away. Now let's see, Mary. Yeah, Professor Mary. What? I'm not what you think I am. I'm perfectly normal. Then stop caring like a girl and show us the evidence. Yes, yeah, show us the evidence. Show us something. Show us something. Let's go. Show us something. 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 What you wanted? Look at me! I'm a man! Not that, you idiot. Your license. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was talking about his wee wee wee, but he was referring to his driver's license. <laughs> oh, I haven't loved this arch since that time I, I stabbed the rattlesnake. <laughs> cause he beat me. <laughs> so I cut off my own legs, cause I thought they were filled with venom. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out it wasn't a real snake. Oh, <laughs> it was just my beloved wife dressing up for Halloween. <laughs> she dressed up as a snake. <laughs> oh, oh, driver's license. <laughs> Forgive me, Broom Hilda. Bad dash. Bad dash. Voices. Come.